welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new my name is Kat today I'm going to be doing a time lapse and a review of the page publications 500 piece puzzle on jigsaw puzzle this one was quite interesting to do so without further ado let's get on with the time lapse about this puzzle we absolutely hated every single second of it it was very very annoying literally you would put in a piece and then you would try to put in another piece and the piece beside it would pop out it the pieces did not stick together at all you could not move sections at all you could barely move two pieces together it was just not an enjoyable experience and halfway through the puzzle i told my mom i said when we finish this, there is absolutely no way that every single piece is going to be connected because they just all wanted to keep coming loose. So basically, instead of trying to actually do the puzzle and put the different sections together, you were too worried about making sure that each piece was connected to another piece. So the puzzle didn't fall apart if you hit it by accident or something. The pieces were very, very cheap. We've never done a dollar store puzzle, but I'm pretty sure that the quality probably is pretty similar between the two. Also, when we took the pieces out of the bag, there was very large sections that were already connected. And the first thought that went to our head was, did somebody saran wrap this, this puzzle back up and already attempt to do this puzzle? But we were like, there's no way that they could do that. It was just the cutting from the factory was not good at all. And honestly, half the puzzle was kind of already done for us because we had pieces already connected. But at the end of the day, I'm thankful it was that way because I don't know if I would have lost it because I was quite annoyed, like I said, with the pieces not sticking together. And with those pieces that were already connected, at least gave us a little bit of hope and a little bit of leeway to make sure that other pieces connected to it. So you always knew that those piece, two pieces or four pieces, however many it was, we're gonna stay connected. I really don't want you guys to think that I'm shaming this country, this company, but my YouTube channel is about letting you guys know what companies to work with and what companies not to, what puzzles to do, what to leave on the shelf. This is one I would definitely leave on the shelf. The image was absolutely adorable. We were so excited about it, but it honestly just wasn't worth the hassle and the stress of the pieces not going to stick together. We found this puzzle at TJ Maxx on sale. I think we only paid like $5 for it. So not completely mad that the quality was as bad as it was, but I think if we would have paid over $5 for it, then we definitely would have been more upset because the max value that it is worth is probably $5. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you hit that like button and that subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my videos. And I will see you guys Friday for another puzzle video. Bye.